Hi everybody, this is Brandon with Recap360 and today we're going to be talking about our data service, Project Cleanup. Project Cleanup was the first data service recap actually released and I'm going to give you a little bit of information about what it does and show you some results of the process. Now the best use case for Project Cleanup is in larger data sets like this one, factories, uh, new constructions, or maybe some exterior terrestrial captures where you have a lot of moving data uh, coming in and out of the scene. Think of things like cars or people, anything where you're not going to have really a great clean area to capture, um, which is typical if you're getting anything from real world environments. Uh, the specific project I have up right now is a new construction of a local office building and we're going to take a look at some of the data within it that might do well with this. Um, I have a view state here we can zip to very quickly. Now that we're zoomed in we can get a better look at some of the data I was describing just now. Looks like we have an individual here who may have been checking their phone at some point and looks like maybe a guy who was milling around in the back when the scans were taking place. Traditionally I would just come in here with some of the selection tools and uh, grab the points but anyone who's accustomed to doing this kind of traditional cleanup knows that it gets a little finicky with the way our selection tools work in 3D space. Typically you'll overshoot the points and we'll be navigating around to a couple different views uh, views to uh, limit our selection and really crop it down the way we want it. None of it's impossible, it's just time consuming. And that's really the biggest benefit of using this data service. It should take all of that hassle and nonsense and do it for you automatically. To access the service, just come to the data services flyout, mouse over cleanup, and click on cleanup. Once the tool initiates, we'll have a settings dialog appear. There's one major setting you need to be concerned with before starting the service, and that's the overall precision of the tool. Now, the way the tool determines which points in a project are actually bad is fairly complex, but precision gives you a little bit of recourse to kind of affect the output. Let's take a look at an illustration that will help us explain how the precision slider works in the tool a little bit more. Pretend this is an extreme close-up of some points in the project that we're pretty sure are going to be identified as bad. Somebody moving through the scene or a vehicle, something like that, that's easily identifiable to the eye. Once we run the tool and get results, we might see something like this. The tool has clearly identified several points that are obviously bad, but we'll notice that there are a few points in here that it didn't catch, but are obviously a part of this object which should be removed from the project. If we have our precision set to the highest settings, we're only going to be grabbing these points that the algorithm has obviously identified. If we lower the precision, we'll start to look in the regions around these points for additional points that it may have missed. If we wanted to visualize this concept, we might see something like this, where regions are expanded around the identified bad points that overlap the ones we accidentally missed. With the precision lowered, the points that were originally omitted are selected and included in the clean point region as well. If you're experiencing this issue with high precision, you might consider lowering it a bit and experimenting with the setting until you get results that you're satisfied with. So I'm going to set this down to about 30%, which is pretty good, and then hit Submit. This dialog here is giving us a little bit of information about what's going to happen after the process is completed. Once we're done, any of the points we've identified as bad in the project are going to be added to this new cleaned point scan region. And as the dialog states, any points within lock regions will not be affected. This is a good little tip to know that if you want to maybe do a large project and take it piece by piece, you can kind of chunk it out and lock everything down you don't want to use the service on and do it a portion at a time. You might get a little faster results with the processing because it tends to be a bit heavy on big projects. I'll click OK and it should get underway. We'll let the service run its course and check back in when it's done. It should take a few minutes, but I won't make you watch this loading dialog tick up. Okay, our cleanup process has completed, and like the dialog told us a little earlier, we now have a new scan region named Clean Points, and we can see when I hover over them here the highlights uh, items that have been identified. Um, in the project. It looks like they were probably moved around between scans. So uh, it's in here for you to use as you see fit. Um, I imagine most people just want to delete these outright, which you can easily do. Come over here to delete region. 
and instead of just getting rid of the region by itself, we're going to actually delete the points and the region. I'll click on that. And there you go. Our points are gone and our uh, scan region is now gone. And we have our newly cleaned up project ready to work with. Hope that was useful for you. If you have any questions about this process or any of your projects you're trying to use with it, please come check us out on the forums. Post a uh, new topic and we'll be happy to help. Thanks.